Hey guys, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports, and today we're going to be showing you how to install these hood mount brackets from Rigid. And we're going to throw a D-Series light on there, but there is a couple different kits that you can run that have different light options on it, and it is fairly universal. So with that being said, let's go ahead, hop over to the other side, and we'll get this install started. So if you're following Rigid's actual instructions for this kit, they do recommend that you take your windshield wipers off as well as the entire cowl to get access to the bolt that you need. You can do that, although I think with just loosening the clips up, you still get enough space that you can mount this without having to remove everything. So that's how we're gonna do it. And what you'll wanna do is just take a little screwdriver or a pry tool and pop these clips on the front of your cowl. And there'll be three on the front for each side. We'll loosen those up. Then there's one more clip kind of hidden back in here. You just want to pop upwards as well. And so now that's going to give us some flex in the plastic and the bolt we need to get to is just right underneath here. Now we're going to take our 10 millimeter socket with an extension on our ratchet and we're going to go ahead and just back this off. So with the bracket, you'll notice that there's a short side and a long side. The long side is where you're gonna mount your actual light. And you can install the bracket without having the light on here. You can do that after, but with a lot of these, it's pretty difficult to get your washers and your nut on once the bracket's on the truck. So I find that it's a little bit easier to put the light on loosely with the bracket on here to where you can move it. And then we'll actually position the bracket into place on the truck and tighten it down. Now, there is also a washer from Rigid that you're gonna wanna put in here underneath the bracket. So we'll drop that into place push this down, we can tighten our 10 mil bolt back into it and then we can adjust our light from there. So now that we've got that 10 mil tightened down, the only thing you wanna make sure of is as you're tightening that, you're working this bracket to where it's nice and close to the body line and it's not spaced in. Then from here, we can go ahead and kind of push this rubber seal back down. We'll pull our little towel back out of the way. And you'll also wanna go ahead and tuck your wires back down through here. So that way you can run the wiring across the cowl or underneath the hood. There we go. out of the way. Perfect. So now our light's kind of pushed down. You can see it's still a little bit loose, so we can kind of work the adjustments here. We'll tighten the screws in, get that in place. And then as far as the rest of the wiring is concerned, Obviously the Raptors have factory upfitters, so you can run the wires to your upfitters on the passenger side, and that'll be up to you to decide which ones you wanna use or how you wanna tie that in. But it is very simple from there. So once we have this tight, we can go ahead, flick it on, and we'll be all set, ready to go. All right guys, so that's a wrap on our rigid pillar install here, and it looks like everything works perfect. We're super happy with the end result. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up this kit for your truck, you can head down in the description below. We'll have a link there that you guys can take a look at. And as always, thanks for watching.